Let's go on to the 80th chapter of Psalm. 80th chapter of Psalm. And then one of the brothers look at this and stop playing with themselves and get serious about this word. Ain't reading no word, ain't teaching the people, don't have no understanding, but they all want to jump on the name. I had a Gentile call last week. Wanted to ask me, uh, I, I want to ask about the name of Jesus. So I called him back, so what you want to know? Well, you know uh, uh, the name of Jesus. He come up with a name. I'm not going to tell you what he said. You know who is spreading this gospel. I said, is that right? I said, let's go to Malachi, the first chapter. And Malachi, the Lord said, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and every nation it shall be revealed. I said, who are the Gentiles? He knew. I said, so who is this? That's, what's the greatest name among the Gentiles? The, Gent the Gentile brother said, the Gentile. I said, enough say. He been sitting under this foolish brother for months. One scripture took that lie away from him, like something wrong with Jesus. I said, that's the name, only name given under the sun whereby men might be saved. You better get on board with it. Absolutely. We're supposed to be teaching that, and, but we're doing the same thing that our fathers did. We are killing his son. This same polluted vine. It wasn't polluted when he brought it out. Let's pick this up and show you what I'm talking about. Psalm, ch the 80th chapter, and we're going to start reading at verse 7. Psalm chapter 80, or the 80th Psalms, as the, as the, uh, the uh, 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 proper scholars say. And we're going to start at verse 1. 80 and 1. 80 and 1. Okay, read. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, uh -huh. thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest between the cherubim, shine forth. Now look, he's, he's, now we're asking the Lord to, to give ear. Skip down to verse 7. Verse 7 and go ahead. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Now he's asking the Lord to turn us again. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. He's been trying to turn you, but you refuse to turn. Yes. So now we want to put it all on him. Lord, you turn us and we will be turned. No, I put the word out there. If you turn, you will be turned. Yes. Go ahead and read. Eight. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Uh -huh. Thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Now look, now look at the tenor of this whole conversation here. You have brought a vine out of Egypt and you have cast out the nations that was in the land. Yes. And you planted that vine in the land. Go ahead and read. Thou prepares room before it, uh -huh. and did cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. So you prepared room for it, and you planted it, and it took deep root. Go ahead and read. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, uh -huh. and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. Uh -huh. She sent out her boughs unto the sea, uh -huh. and her branches unto the river. Go ahead. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges? So that the wait a minute, wait a minute. Say she spread it all over the plain. Yep. Her branches even went to the river. Then all of a sudden, the conversation changed. Why has thou broken down her hedges? Go ahead and read. So that all they which pass by the way do pluck her. Uh huh. The boy out of the wood do waste it. Go ahead. And the wild beasts of the field do devour it. Uh huh. Return. Now look at this, sister and brother. He said, Now why are you doing this? Then it took away the hedges. Anybody that come along just pick what they want. You done broke down the walls thereof, and the boy out of the field come in and destroyed. Yes. Why did you do this? We already know. We didn't read it, did we? Yes. But go ahead and read. 14. Return. We beseech thee, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold and visit thine vine. Ain't that something? We want to let them know oh, we your vine. He <laughs> said, hey, he became alien to you. So now we want to return. We want to look down from heaven. And we want him to look and visit this vine. Go ahead and read. 15. And the vineyard which thy right hand has planted, and the branch that thou made it strong for thyself. Uh-huh. It is burnt with fire. Now it look what he said. And the vineyard that your right hand planted, and the vineyard that you have made strong for yourself. Yes. The Lord told Israel, you are my witnesses. You are the one that's going to declare me to the rest of the world. So I chose you for myself to do my job. Yes. 
but you trying to do your own job. You want to do what you want to do? You didn't want to do nothing, even though I made the song for me. Go ahead. What verse? 16. Uh-huh. It is burnt with fire. He said, it is cut look. down. He said, now look at this man here now. It is burnt with fire. Yes. It is cut down. Go ahead and read. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. And they perish at the rebuke of your countenance. This is the Lord that did this. He went and he got him a vine. This is Israel. And he brought Israel out of Egypt. And he cleared all the nations before it. And he planted Israel in the land of Canaan. Yes. Then gave Israel everything he needed to become the priest that he intended for him to be. But we went south. All of a sudden, we want to point the finger. Why did he burn his vine? Why did he let everybody pluck it up? Why did he let the boars destroy it? Let me show you why. Let's go to Jeremiah, the second chapter. Jeremiah, chapter 2. See, that's why I take issue with my Israelite brothers. When are you going to stop this and get on your job and take care of the Lord's business? Maybe this beating wouldn't be so hard if we get on our job and take care of the Lord's business. Maybe the Lord would be that little sanctuary that he say he's going to be to us in our enemy's land. Maybe he'll stop you, your children, from killing one another. If you bring them on the board and tell them what time it is. And make a plan. Uh, people that think they come from nowhere and they going nowhere, they have no roots and they ain't nothing, they behave like that. Let them know who they are, what their job is. Let them know why you got in trouble so you know not to do it again. Two and four. We're going to start at verse four. Jeremiah, the second chapter, and verse 4. Okay, read it. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, uh -huh. and all the families of the house of Israel. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they have gone far from me and have walked out the vanity and are become vain? He said, Now look, hear what I'm saying. What iniquity, what sin have you, your father, y'all found in me, or what sin have your fathers found in me that y'all have turned away from me? And start walking after vain God. Yes. What is it that I've done? The Lord answered this question. Go ahead and read. Neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? Uh-huh. That led us through the wilderness. Do you hear that in the churches nowadays? No, sir. I'm talking about our churches, the black churches. No, sir. You don't hear that. Israel is not even mentioned unless they're trying to condemn it. He said, you don't, I don't hear that no more. Why is the God that brought us up out of Egypt? You don't have a clue where he is. Because you don't even know you was in Egypt. In fact, you don't even know who you was. Make a plan. And therefore, you cannot know who you are. He said, I never hear that no. I'm listening in the house that's supposed to be my houses. And I don't ever hear him say, why is the God that brought us up out of Egypt? Why is the one that's led us through the wilderness? Go ahead and read. Through a land of deserts and of pits. Uh -huh. Through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, uh -huh. through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. Why is that God that's brought us to a place that's impossible to pass, but we passed it? We didn't even get sick, not one day. Our shoes didn't even get old. Our clothes didn't get old. And we bested one of the worst ones. Skip down to verse 20. Verse 20. And go ahead. For of old time I have broken thy yoke. And then what he told you, for of old time I broke your yoke. I broke your yoke down in Egypt. Go ahead and read. And burst thy bands. Uh -huh. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. Uh -huh. When upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. He said, look at this, people. While you was telling the Lord you ain't going to sin, you was doing it with all your might. Make it plain. Teach. Just like an adulterous woman. Playing the street, going home telling her husband, I love you, and I'll never mess around on you. He said, not only was you doing it, you was doing it while you was telling me you wasn't doing it. Doesn't even make it worse. Go ahead and read. 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. He said, yet I have planted you a noble vine. Go ahead. Holy, a right seed. Holy. A right seed. I mean completely righteous. Go ahead and read. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? He said, now how did you turn into the degenerate that you are? Make a plan. Strange vine. I don't know who you are. 
That's why I become a stranger to my mother's children, and I'm an alien to my brethren. I don't know these people. They hate my Sabbath day. They hate my commandment. They hate my dietary law. They don't want to live on the earth no more than I created to be forever. They want to go to heaven. They don't want to do nothing that I want them to do. How have you become the de degenerate plant of a strange seed like the man? How? And we have to ask this question. Now we got time that we have the audacity to be puffed up. When you find out that you're Israel, you're going to look down your nose. I'm going to tell you something. You better hope that these Gentiles and the Hamites don't figure out what could have been. And what is not because of you, if you think it's rough now, they sure enough going to give you an extra lick on the head. Because the things we're going through didn't have to be. Let's go back to Isaiah, the fifth chapter. Isaiah, chapter 5. 